there's a little bit of context that's necessary when going into brain drain in the outhouse. That context is, well, that uh, our topic. Usually, uh, most people have segues into it. Well, that's not how we record. We record almost in the midst or at the very, very beginning of the conversation. And it only cuts off because recording or some other responsibilities that we have to take care of. Uh, with that being said, our topic today is Shot a Pop Opera by Jack Stauber. We introduced it a little bit, but here you go. Okay, uh, wait, I'll pull it up uh, on my end as well. Okay. <clears throat> Just so Do we can... I need it? Do you oh. remember? <laughs> the 21st of September. <laughs> I love how Jack Stauber made the playlist. And Adult Swim just put it out there. They're like, whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, we'll put this uh, to the... Well, it's also Jack Stauber had to make it so it links back to his channel. I mean, probably, yeah. It's like, oh, okay, he has a YouTube channel too, huh? I need his merch. I need, like... The created by Jack Stauber. <laughs> sure. Jack Stauber merch. Air. It's passable as um. Actually, we could also talk about the merch, but uh, now nah, we'll have a. I guess we can have an emphasis on the. On shop a pop opera, and like we can talk about Jack Stopper in general later. Oh man. Yeah, we'll talk about shop right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot when it comes to. Uh... Yeah. <sighs> oh shit, I screamed into the mic. The game just went out all over the place. I'll uh, reduce that one a bit. Um... I usually have my, my microphone. Oh fuck. I usually have my microphones recording audio, be it like uh, 80 to 70 percent, just so, you uh, know, if I peak, I don't destroy the audio completely. Yeah. Okay, it seems that I can actually give a sound, and it won't fucking peak at 36 uh, percent. Okay. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> That's a lot. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know why. Really. Guess uh, there's a um, my compu my my computer can just like take a lot of shit, dude. It's a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should clap sync probably. Mhm. Mm okay, I got three, two, one. Okay. I don't know how sync that was. Uh, probably not. I know it's like, would it, would you say it's like synced at the uh, hundred fifty four millisecond? Uh, well, I don't know when you started recording, man. I think it's I've it's gonna be it's gonna, gonna be now. it's gonna be within a, a a small margin of error. Probably like I, I I'm like five minutes in. I'm at like three minutes eighteen, three minutes twenty. Huh. I've recorded more for this. I guess starting from like the bro. <laughs> bro, dude. Bro, you want to like. A good <laughs> you got a good vag, dude. Oh, come on, bro. We don't talk about that. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I guess if you want to start off introducing it. Well, fuck. I, I mean, no, me? I don't, we don't even <laughs> fucking introduce it. Fuck this. No that's introductions the, needed. <laughs> that's the pref, that's what the preface is for. 
<laughs> so I, I guess it, it's more just saying fucking shop a pop off or it was something you were fucking saying I god the past two days for me to li- to listen to and I'm like uh, yeah, yeah I gotta I, get I to it <laughs> yeah and it's a project pro- I would say produced by Adult Swim created by Jack Stauber yeah who's known for his eclectic uh and sometimes musical uh art i'm gonna say art that he puts on on art and content art slash content he is a musician with um with a uh with like a very alternative pop uh, a take very much Uh, 80s too yeah, very much. He makes his own. I believe he makes his own. Uh, yeah, he does. He makes his own VHS uh, videos. Um, from the drawing, I, I'm. I believe. I'm not too sure. Like the drawing, but I definitely know that the. That his uh, clay claymation is his. He makes yeah. them, and he, and it's just amazing to see like how he has like, uh, a hand at the medium at the many mediums. Yeah, he's he's a, a mixer of mediums and you know integration, which is great. Mm-hmm. Including live action. Almost definitely. Yeah. He Actually, really likes to warp shit. Did you like? Did you listen to it, or did like, did you also like see it? Oh no, I watched it a few times. Oh, yeah. It's All dangerous. Right. Don't do it at work <laughs> when you're a driver, but. I made sure to keep it like in within reach. Oh well, good. I. I mean, I didn't do anything bad. <laughs> Jack Stauber is the. Um, I guess I'd say uh, he's rising in popularity as of late, which is a great thing. He has a dedicated subreddit, um, not made by him, of course. Uh, he has, uh, I believe, um, around 800,000 subscribers on YouTube uh, mo- uh, due to you know, like his short skits, um, uh, VH- uh, VHS videos, music videos in general, um, which is pretty much going hand to hand. It really, he knows, his, he knows his art and he does it exceptionally well. Yeah. And he's been developing it for how long? Uh, I'd say, I mean, I believe a couple of years, but I'll give it, give it a good guess, I guess. A good guess. To I'd say educated about, guess. oh, as far as like six years, he's been developing it. Okay. So he's been testing animation for four years, he has been like four years ago, he tested an animation and then he started making more prominent stuff. Um, Three years in? I yeah. yeah. Like he was sticking to animatics and to and, and to like uh, his um, mic checks, animation texts, it tests, mostly tests. Yeah. But but these uh, become pretty pretty prevalent. Uh, and um, and as a dedicated following. And with the way that Adult Swim actually hires, sometimes they can hire off a single Twitter video. It doesn't matter. That they, they're like they're always on the lookout for like new artists to like promote and everything. Adult oh, yeah. Sw- he, actually before that he's ha- he has made a Valentine's special. Yeah. For Adult Swim. Um, and and they just like I'm I'm assuming they just literally like working with them. You know, they get a lot of feedback. But uh, for the Adult Swim Smalls, it's a short series that they just decide to grab an artist or whoever, musical, artistic, anything, and just go, hey, can you make us something? As far as I've, I've looked into it. Uh, and like so... How, like, they probably didn't, um, you know, they didn't uh, intervene too much. They let him do his thing. Oh yeah, I think I think Adult Swim has really been a bastion of, uh, of of creativity and letting the artists just be. 
So I think that that's been wonderful. Mm-hmm. Other than that, uh, I I think it's wonderful that they let him do a little, essentially like a mini EP opera. Oh, like yeah. The, like at the length of like only like six or so minutes. fucking... I don't know, six. It's, yeah, yeah it's like six. six videos, but they could, uh, each segment is like uh, his interaction with uh, a uh, with uh, other shoppers, and then they get the segment of a of a song. Yeah, it's. I think we can get into it. Let's start with milk. Uh, uh-huh. Mainly because milk is not my favorite, but <laughs> ooh, ooh, it is nice. Yeah, uh, it's me- um, go on. Oh no, I I wasn't really gonna say much else. Just go on. Uh, well, I mean, I get, I'd say yeah, it really does uh, start it off pretty nicely. Um, it's it presents the it presents like uh, it, it gives a nice opening. I'd say, like this is like a bit of a taste. A bit of a test in the waters before, like, you delve into the general thematic of the of the of the sh- of all the other shorts. Yeah, it's it's definitely it's like, a setup at least. Yeah, it's like yeah, you, you have interaction like which is pretty awkward with a with another shopper, and then some and then uh, something like with the interaction of. The protagonist with the uh, uh, with the item uh, and uh, and the shopper in general, like it. It's it's almost like it's, it's really either the specific. demographic or a warning sign is usually what the other shopper is. Um, yeah, yeah it, definitely. Um, like it's like yeah, def- different demographics and like different awkward people for awkward situations. And I like the I like the character design too that they do for each shopper. Oh because, yeah, definitely. Because they, they're just they're artistically shaped. Their silhouettes are made to look like, uh, the shopping item of that episode. I I mean I'd say um the the old lady in the in the milk uh, in the milk part uh, she looks like a pecan. <laughs> well, no, no, because the, the, she has the she has the the triangle top. She's the A frame with her hair. And then it kind of like splits up at the top. If you look at it, it looks like a like a milk carton, and she's very squarish. Oh yeah, that too. Damn. Yeah. And they put her in a wheelchair to keep it more square and more in line. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's it's also, great. Also, her being uh, old. Yeah, old. Um, like, it's like yeah, what life did she go through, where she has to have all the have her own dialect of uh, human speak to like just say pecan and like and like she's expected to you know yeah like, get it <laughs> yeah I just I think as a whole I really like that I really like the aesthetic of just like that each thing is an interaction of, of like a warning sign or a demographic uh, essentially uh, um I don't know yeah. if you got this out of the whole thing, but I got, I don't think we can do this in order. I think I want to jump all over the place. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do as well. It's like, I guess, I guess the main take is like to tell the viewers to, you know, like, we sh- it, like p- people should watch this first before like entering the review of it. Yeah. Cause that's like, it's, this shouldn't be a replacement. Jack Stower like worked hard on this because this is really really nice. Almost oh, definitely, there is a lot of dedication, and there's a lot of uh, like while it seems simple, and some people uh, may not be uh, uh, you know adjusted to like uh, consume this kind of like distorted uh, media uh, like art style. So like they kind of like may miss the details like um like how they how like um the, the milk is interpreted how tears are you know like milked and those kinds of things in the song segment not it's, to mention the uh the metronome 
that goes on in the background of every single uh, short. You didn't notice that, did you? So oh, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it was a metronome, but I was pretty sure it's it's at least some type of metronome. It's uh, it's at least some type of metronome in the rhythm of the uh supermarket like tune. Yeah, because it's, it's very like, yeah, loud. It's a song. Pretty yeah, simple. it's like a cla- like either a metronome or think of it like a clave beat. It's mm. very steady. Um, but it's, it's, it's nice because it, it, it adds to when he uses the, the score to emphasize, you know, points like surprise, especially that comes out really, really, uh, a lot in, in bread. Yeah. I would say bread. It comes out the most, the music, uh, the score. Uh, Yeah. The bread comes out like with like the scoring. I know that like uh, a lot of it comes out really obtuse when it's used as score. Uh, let me redact that. No, it comes out fucking brilliant because it's it's wonderful, kind of erratic scoring. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, bread uh, in general uh, was it has a pretty nice message to it as well. Yeah, uh, I did. No, go on. It's um, it does bring forth um, like this is where like it also brings forth subjects that um that are relevant to today as well. That's why I like to call this like a contemporary opera. Yeah. Part of it is like it, it do. I'm not too sure if there was conversation about the, uh, do, do you let your clothes speak to you and like the type of bread you consume like it's not you. Yeah. You strip away everything, and then what are you? And that's... I don't know if you caught that through most of the theming of, like, most of everything else. It's... There's a lot of theming of, like, the small things you do are much more meaningful, and you can make better, bigger changes in your life. If that makes Almost sense. definitely. Because it's... It very much holds itself... Like, like everything you do, like even at the ending parts with uh, oatmeal and paper towels, both oh, of yeah. them. Like it, it was very much like the solution to the problem uh, was definitely just kind of like uh, a nod to be like, ah, you know what you could do? You could do this. Do this. Every every solution item he finds is is a much bigger problem and a better problem to like the not the metaphor but the literal mm-hmm. but the metaphor so the the literal solution is still a metaphor for what you can do like instead of choosing just bland oatmeal you know it chooses a mystery flavor yeah which is neat because it's about you know liven things up don't be such a bland asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like a lot of the theming that I was getting out of it. And it was really, really nice just to, to see that. Because, like, and, it's and so I, good. And also, uh, the paper towels, it gets a wash bag instead. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this will lighten up on the environment. And also, it's also like, uh, it, instead of having always paper towels, um... It's like that makes a bigger mess, as uh, the shop, as the um, the shop employee, uh, yeah, says. Uh, then he gets a wash rag, so like he can just rinse it and repeat. Yeah. I like. What do you think is the most? What do you think is the weakest of the the song choices? Hmm. I'd say, mm. like the most obvious it, of metaphor, or uh, I guess um, uh, the obvious of metaphor. I wouldn't say it would be like the weakest. I mean, like the coffee. Uh, it's like uh, getting, getting addicted to coffee. Um, yeah. But but I'd say like 
uh, what was the kind of what was relatively predictable in sort of lyricism, I would say um, cheese. Cheese? Because you thought about the cheese puns. Yeah, for the most part, and also because it's like it already maps you out the five stages of uh, grief. Yeah. But I did, but I did like the end, which it kind of summed up the entire thing. Yeah, that make like. yeah the making choices kind of song. Yeah, which I, that the the part the part which like really made me smile is like how he has learned to to like to choose better for himself and to be decisive, whereas at the beginning he didn't know what which sample to decide upon to take one. Yeah, and and it's it's really like you can make it a comedic joke and just be like, uh it was nothing. It was just kind of silly, and it's just like no. That's the thing I hate about th- uh, that I would I would hate about this, like that people will look at this as just a wacky thing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, oh my yeah, god, that's I mean, so people random. People might see it like on a, on a on a late night, and they'll be like, oh okay. Yeah, but I guess like it's it's um it's part of like I guess it's like part of a lot of um, Jack Stauber's um, music. Have you ever heard of anything outside of Shop a Pop Opera? I've heard a few things, uh, not anything I would say in specific, because it's been like, um, mostly stuff here and there, and I've forgotten the names, because, you know, it, it's just been... Well, uh, you'll know that uh, it has, it, like, a lot of his, like, um, a lot of his songs have, like, a subtle meaning to them. And people will, will theorize. Will, a lot of people will theorize it so much that it's actually like a meme. Also, that people will say like, "Oh, he speaks cursive." So he speaks curses. I mean, cursive, that's... cursive. Yeah. Like, uh, un- like, uh, uh, albeit like you may make out a bit of wording, but like, uh, it's not too understandable, for the most part. Oh, I just. Cursive, not cur- curses. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just... I don't know. There's... There's comments I see on, on some of the videos. Like, only Jack Stauber can make a song about a carton of milk make me tear up. The line, did they laugh at you? Did you laugh with them? Gets me every time. I mean, yeah. Some people will relate to it and stuff. Yeah, and and it's supposed to be, but, like, there's, like... (sighs) There we go. There's actually a dude looking at it. Yeah, there's there's somebody showing the... He's talking about the themes of living life in the present. And living life to the and, fullest. Oh, by the way, che- if you check out like the any uh, like any song about like if you check uh, any video that it has the uh, coffee in it. Yeah. Like uh, the the song coffee, um, because we talked about the uh, shop. Then um, you'll see a lot of people kind of like taking it like an extra mile and say. Um, this is the government. <laughs> <laughs> basically. They'll oh, say, no. oh, this is like about alcohol and substance abuse. It's like, come on, dude. Like, I mean, to an extent, yeah, but it, no. It's, it's like you know, it's it's uh, really about the main the main necessity, not just substance abuse, but uh, the abuse of. It's just basically like the abuse uh, of commercialism you, you too. You can take it beyond. You can take it beyond it because you know, like the ref, like the lyrics literally reference mocha, French vanilla. It's like. Hey, remind. I mean, like you can take it as like a hey reminder. This is about coffee, okay? Yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a flashback to the literal, but the metaphorical meaning is supposed to reach out a lot further than coffee. I mean, yeah, it's a like caffeine addiction. Like uh, it's it's the flavor you want. You like you like that monster. You like that monster, do you? I I saw it less as addiction like that way. I saw it more as commercialism. Hmm. Like, all the advertising, like, you gotta have it. You gotta need it. You want it. I guess it, I guess that is, that, I guess you're, like, a small demographic that would think that. <laughs> yeah. 1%. <laughs> it, 
and, and that can feed into the addiction part but i was thinking like how people talk about things because you know like they're advertised to them the exposure effect how advertising I, works i guess although i would say that the main take is um I, I guess the main take would also be that, well, it's, I, I guess it, it's kind of, I can make it to that. I guess there are some allegories. I mean, yeah, like, that kind of, it, when you think about it, <laughs> caffeine, caffeine, no, like, I'm, I'm like trying to um, counter the argument, but honestly, uh, uh, addiction, like talking to your, talking yourself into succumbing to the addiction, is kind of like marketing in itself. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's like it's like this point, just trying to raise points that convince you. So it's like self convincing. And this is and this is of course really great because this is what art should do. Art should provoke thought. Provoke. You want to be a provocateur, and in this way, I think that as a pop opera. You have the appeal of pop and the operatic art of provocateur. That is, yeah. you know, if people think about it. I, yeah. I'd say the opera <laughs> they don't just... me is just like how how there is like a, um, there is some sort of climax. And like there's a buildup in a climax as like, um, as there are more, um, as there are like a certain check a checkpoint a check marks in in the act like there are multiple acts and he goes through it with like different characters all uh, that all build up until like um the, the lessons learned yeah until he fully gets like his full lesson and everything yeah i i, I especially enjoy like how how like um he says like okay i'll, I'll let fate decide and it's like he gets like the most um ups- your cheese you would get off the supermarket yeah and and it's like i can do better than this it's like <gasps> yeah <got it. laughs> makes him a real go-getter I, I just like that the 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 reprise part the second half to cheese is just fun <laughs> i enjoy yeah, it the second half is good the first the first one it's like the first part where he goes through the five stages of grief it's like okay it's it's so would you call that the weakest part is that first half of cheese yes okay uh, i i feel like maybe like the five stages i understand it's like not the most not the worst not, not the not the biggest thing i would um not the biggest huh he was definitely trying to break the mold that he had already set yeah. in place because like yeah, coffee it, it felt a bit forced yeah, because coffee, he was trying to, like, break the idea of him interacting with another uh, another shopper. He's like, well, I have the old one myself. Hope nobody else is here. Yeah, it, 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 it definitely gives a lot more, like, lot, liveliness, livelihood, livelihood to the... Um, to the char- to the characters, like yeah, I've had enough socially awkward experiences. I'd rather not do that anymore. I I don't know what he's alluding to, or it was just kind of an inside joke for each one of them to call him deaf. <laughs> I don't. I I'd say. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. I'd say like um, it, it's part of like. I'd say from my own experiences talking with people, and like I, I can't really make what they're saying. Some people will just say like, "Hey, what are you deaf?" So it's kind of like it, it's also part of this of the experience, but I guess it's also used in this pop opera as a sort of way to just kind of give some continuity okay. to uh, his interaction. I say the protagonist is like talks much less than the others, so you say so you can say that he's more of a socially awkward person. Yeah. Or rather 
Uh, rather, he keeps to himself more. Can you stop? Because before, because uh, if you really look back at it, the uh, the protagonist uh, stumbled upon these people and really try, really just um, uh, try to keep to himself. But he had to like. It's either I mean like anyone that he's approached the the artisanal person, yeah. Um, he 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 was just curious about it. It's like oh wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of labels. That's a lot of uh, yeah. It's it's it's, it's all superficial. Yeah, yeah. So like it, it, he would beg to question, like that's in, that's an interesting bread. It's like and. So like I'd say that's the one time that he's and, and like the other time that he had to like approach actually no, I think that's the only time he had to like approach something, right? I think so. I think and like approach a person. No, they yeah. all approach him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, aside of like the bread, like I mean like, he pops in, but like he could have just kind of like he left, left it off from there, but he uh, was superficial. The bread the bread one, he pops in in general, yeah, like he pops it. in just like the re- regular one. Yeah, exactly. Everyone pops in. It doesn't like approach anyone. But I guess, I guess, like the the the, the artisanal person saying, um, uh, uh, you know, let 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 me just get that or something like that. Yeah, you just let me just grab that. Yeah. yeah. I I just it's, it's I in love with it. What is? Okay, so what's the weakest? I guess what is your not your favorite portion, but your favorite track? My favorite track, the one I mo- I t- I listen to the most is um, Coffee. Coffee, I'd say, is one is the the one in which you can uh, really listen to a lot. Yeah, and it's. It's nice. It ha- it has a, it. It's simple. It has a nice sound to it. Um, the instrumental is great too. Um, well, the rest are more. Um, I- I'd say. It, compared to it, I'd say most of the others in the pop opera are. Uh, are, are just kind of like segments. At, uh, are just like segments that, that would um, cater more to like a play or an opera setting where yes it does uh, bring forth the message but I don't know beyond uh, after that but that's just my taste I think I think coffee definitely has an interesting dynamic when it comes to the music because it's like he's talking it's a conversation it's a dialogue yeah, with himself for the most part. However, well, no, like in it, he's like talking to the almost the advertising or his subconscious, and it's great. Interpretation. <laughs> well, well, like when he when he's just like, well, do I need it? And it's like, but it's the flavor you want. It's like an internal struggle, and I kind of like that. Mm. I also see other people in the yeah, like people in the comments uh, in uh, various. Uh, videos uh with the audio track of coffee uh I, some of them like relate to that part where like it's the flavor you want and that's what makes me like want to drink my next red bull or monster yeah the flavor you want it's advertising keywords buzzwords and my favorite one was was mess i love mess a lot I, it has like that pretty upbeat um it, it, like for the most part, it has its uh, upbeat it's, um, 80s. Yeah, and noise. it sounds like like flock of seagulls or, or like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it's really great because it's kind of got, got that really really like, uh, really rushed feeling. I would oh, say yeah. I would say it, it, I, you can say chaotic, like it uh, alludes to in mess, as a mess. Yeah, chaotic. That one, not my bad. Said <laughs> rushed. But yeah, no, it's I. I don't know. As for week, I I think I'd have to agree on the the, the first half of cheese. Mm-hmm. 
I'd say... <sighs> I, I mean, I barely find much flaw in the in shop in itself i'd say it's a it's a very well um crafted piece of music and animation it, just a, a just a, a pop opera it's a well made up pop opera yeah and and to that there's not much like else to be said i mean uh it, it, in order not to like rob you of the experience it's pretty great to just actually fully take in all the visuals everything everything it has to offer visuals the sounds it's i i I think jack stauber knows what the fuck he's doing when it comes to like mixing audio and video which you know most of the time you should see the rest of his videos that built up to making this they, 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 they aren't connected but him making music videos uh, to uh, him making videos at the same medium. Th- this is no exception to his vast array of music videos for other small skit uh, songs. Uh, I can send you a couple and like, you'll get what I mean. Like I'd say um, uh, Hope, I, I guess it's called. Um, there is... Um, there's also... Oh, God... Hey, uh, 